Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today is June 21st, 2010. Time is 7 p.m. I mean, the Greenberg Common Council is called to order. Roll call vote, please, Jim. Here. 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 I'm here. Here. It's a long day. Long day. Long day. Are there any additions or corrections to the minutes of the May 3rd meeting? If not, a motion to accept the minutes written. Second. Roll call vote, please, Jane. Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. Old business to contend with, new business, tax abatements. These are the ones that uh, Councilman Winning and Gardner have looked at and approved. Big sisters that represent the big brothers and sisters. Um, in the, you have our packet and that, and I just uh, we have done an awful lot of growth. In 1985, we had 12 matches and just one program. 
Uh, right now, we have 306 youth in five different programs. Um, you have in your packet also stories. And I think those are self-explanatory as far as the types of kids and the things that we do to help the kids in our program. We show our mentors are so important because they're showing they're showing the kids that there is more to life, that they demonstrate the benefits of working and earning of funds, and they help kids feel pride in themselves and, and getting good grades. Education is one of the main things that we really stress. And I brought with me Bill and Sandy Pratt, who have helped their little brother, and I'll tell you a little bit in a minute, but they, they got him through school. And Greg had dropped out of school at Greensburg. He was, he was out for the whole semester. They were able to get him back in. And he is graduating. He just graduated from North Decatur, and he's going on to school, and he's going to be going into nursing. These are things that our mentors do. We also have high school mentors. And these kids, our high school kids, are showing what it's like to get good grades, but then also get, having good attendance, staying in school, but then juggling their schedules, how it is if you're an athlete or doing whatever. These kids are, our elementary kids are learning so, so much. It's our goal to put a caring mentor in the life of every child in Decatur County. Um, due to the economics of our community and our country, we have had more and more youth coming into our programs. Right now, I have a stack of 80 applications for kids that need someone in their life and get them in needing to get into the program. And this means that we are having to do more and more to get these kids on the right track. Our, the schools, the principals, they ask us, they encourage the kids to get into programs because they are seeing the benefits of what it's like to have for these kids to have the mentors to support them and to give them the encouragement. This year, or uh, last year, we had over 600 kids in our, pro different, in our two different programs, our community program and our school program. We continue to try to find more and more ways to get our kids involved. Last year, we did our job. We matched the kids that were all, we matched all the kids that were on our waiting list. Bottom line, we have to have more this year. We have more kids. We don't know where where we're going to go with these kids unless we have the added funds. We need your help. The way our budget is right now, um, our donations are down, expenses are up. Um, the rising, we've cut everywhere, every, you know, and we just need, we need your support. We need to be able to continue and to get these kids matched and to do things. Um, I don't think Greg made it. Um, I did bring <coughs> that in um, your packet, but I did bring a copy of um, a paper that Greg Beckett wrote uh, for a speech class that he had.